Hey guys, how's it going? I'm coming at you for another devlog. It's been a bit since my last one, but I've been working hard on lots of aspects of the game. Mostly marketing, but today I'm coming up with a new cool feature. I've finally gotten around to adding sound. Over the past two weeks, I've been working hard to implement full sound to the game. We now have full special effects sounds and two original music tracks. For this game, I already had some good sound effects that I have made for previous games in my audio library that I incorporated for the shoot sound and the hit sound and the death sound. But I took on a new challenge of composing my own music, which was quite the journey. After days of placeholder music, I finally found a good program that would let me compose in a style that fits my personality. I landed on the live coding program Sonic Pi. Sonic Pi is written by someone in connection with the Raspberry Pi Foundation. It's very cool and easy to use. In it, you code music live in Ruby. But it's really useful for game coding too because you can save it easily to an export file. I'd like to talk about the first track that I made for the game. The first track is the generic background music track, and it plays when you're going along in the game and everything's running fine and smooth and happy-go-lucky. But as soon as another enemy's on the screen, it switches to the fight music track, which is more ominous and intense and just alerts you that enemies are nearby. I'm going to go ahead and give you a sample of the two tracks. Here's the first one that's the peaceful background music. As you can see, it's just a basic beat, but I think it does the job pretty well. Though, I'll probably go in and improve the music later. And this next one is the more intense, ominous fighting music. Pretty cool, huh? Now to show everything combined, I'm going to let you view a clip of a battle with all the audio turned on. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to follow me on my game development journey, please don't forget to hit subscribe. And also, if you want to stay up to date on the newest game development news, join the Discord below. Until then, I'll see you next time. Bye!